lead me to the will of my foes, O Lord, for false witnesses rise up against me, and they breathe out violence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Send to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You're seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion that we might merit to receive your pardon through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Listen to me, O coastlands. Pay attention, you peoples from far away. The Lord called me before I was born. While I was in my mother's womb, he named me. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand, he hid me. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me away. And he said to me, you are my servant, Israel, in whom I will be glorified. But I said, I have labored in vain. I have spent my strength for nothing in vanity. Yet surely my cause is with the, with the Lord and my reward with my God. And now the Lord says, who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring back Jacob to him and that Israel might be gathered to him. For I am honored in the sight of the Lord, and my God has become my strength. The Lord says, It is too light a thing that you should be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the survivors of Israel. I will give you as a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the end of the earth. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, our response is, I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and rescue me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be to me a rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me for you are my rock and my fortress. Rescue me, O my God, from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. For you, O Lord, are my hope, my trust, O Lord, from my youth. Upon you I have leaned from my birth. It was you who took me from my mother's womb. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth will tell of your righteous acts, of your deeds of salvation all day long. O oh God, from my youth you have taught me, and I still proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. During the supper with his disciples, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, Very truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, uncertain of whom he was speaking. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining next to him. Simon Peter therefore motioned to him to ask Jesus whom he was speaking. So while reclining next to Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. So when he had dipped it, dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. After he received the piece of bread, Satan entered into him. Jesus said to him, Do quickly what you are going to do. Now no one at the table knew why he had said this to him. Some of them thought that because Jesus, Judas, had the common purse, Jesus was telling him, Buy what we need for the festival, or that he should give something to the poor. So after receiving the piece of bread, he immediately went out, and it was night. When Judas had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only a little longer. You will look for me. And as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, but you will follow afterwards. Peter said to him, Lord, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Very truly I tell you, before the cock crows, you will have denied me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. One of the things I find very fascinating in the Old Testament is King David's um, love for his sons, especially the son Absalom. Absalom uh, turns his kingdom against David. He um, sleeps with David's concubines, uh, tries to have David killed, and David weeps over his son. He's devastated when his son dies and David gives us a, a model of love of others you know love of, of the other and, and, and we can see this in, in Jesus even to a more perfect way that he loves Judas he loves Judas and he offers Judas an opportunity out we see in the Passover feast and in the betrayal, Jesus gives Judas three chances to repent. You see that he doesn't have a hatred for him. He reminds Judas, Judas, you know what you're doing? It would have been better if you were not born. That should have changed Judas's heart. You know, when he, he asked Judas before he kissed him, Judas, are you going to betray the Son of Man with a kiss? So we see this, and then, and then today, he, he reveals to Jesus, Jesus, I know what you're doing. So we see his great love of God for Judas. You know, his great love that Judas turns from his ways. And God also has this great love for us. So we see this, the passion coming up. It's, there's no selfishness in it. Jesus doesn't have some sort of selfish thing like, well, this will be 
too painful for me. We see that his weeping and his suffering is going to come uh, from us, from our lack of responding uh, to the passion of Christ, our lack of responding to the grace that is being offered to us, the ability to resurrect from our lives. You know, we see that that is likely the, the cause of Jesus' sorrow because we know that there's no um, sorrow for himself. But for the people that he's laying down his life for, if we, could only, if we could only embrace this love that God has for us, if only we could receive this love for what God has for us, we would live our lives differently. In the time of his passion, when Christ offered prayers and supplications to his Father with loud cries and tears, let us humbly beseech God that in answer to his Son's reverent submission, he may in mercy hear our prayers also. We pray for our Holy Father Francis, for Pope Emeritus Benedict, for our Bishop Joseph, for their health, intentions, and constant growth in faith, hope, and charity. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray for um, the grace to accept the love that you have for us, Lord, and embrace it and put that grace into our hearts. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray for um, this final week of, of Lent, Lord, that we may use it well and to submit our lives more fully to you and your holy will. For this we pray to the Lord. Pray for those who are sick and dying, those who have different infectious diseases, cancers, those in fear and anxiety, those in depression, suicidal thoughts and tendencies. We pray for God's loving, healing hand to be upon them. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray uh, for all those who are taking away our religious rights and freedoms, for the conversion of their souls, and for those who have the courage to fight against them. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray for the conversion of our Prime Minister, who keeps supporting the culture of death, especially in abortion and euthanasia. For this we pray to the Lord. Smiles, we pray in a special way for the holy souls in purgatory. For this we pray to the Lord. In a moment of silence, we offer up our own prayers and petitions.
Pray to the Lord. And we pray for all the holy souls in purgatory, and we ask them to join us with the saints and angels in heaven, especially St. Joseph, our Blessed Mother, St. Ferguson, to pray for more vocations to the priesthood, to the consecrated life and the holy matrimony, to preserve all those in their vocations, and assist us in our universal call to holiness. For this we pray to the Lord. Be present, Lord, to the people, to your people at prayer, so that what they do not have the confidence or presumption to ask, they may obtain by the merits of your Son's passion, who live and reign forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray on these offerings of your family, and to those you make partakers of these sacred gifts, grant a share in their fullness, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. With the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all.
Let us pray. Nourished by your sacred gifts, we pray, beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May your mercy, O God, cleanse the people that are subject to you from all seduction of former ways and make them capable of new holiness through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.